G'day everybody and welcome to Pete's HQ. I'm your host as always, Pete Oz, and we're back with another exciting episode of War on the Sea. As you remember from last time, Milne Bay. Well, she has um, copped it from the Japanese. They landed a significant number of troops and in response we sunk one of their heavy cruisers. Um, we've got our BF... Sorry, BFs. Uh, B-17s on station still. Um, mainly just to keep contact so our submarine can come in and cause some more damage. Um, as soon as we can at Port Moresby, I um, really wouldn't mind heading off some more Avengers. Now, what I did do is Task Force 1, oh, sorry, Task Force 2, they are coming across to try and intercept. Um... We might actually move them up to here. Don't know whether they will be able to or not, but we're going to give it a crack. And uh, Task Force 1, well, she got beefed up. So we basically had to let everybody go. So we now have the Light Cruiser Denver, the Heavy Cruisers, Pensacola, and Salt Lake, along with our destroyers, Dale and Dewey. So we are waiting for more troops to uh, land in our area of operation from... Um, it should be they would come from Hawaii. So that way we can press the attack on Guadalcanal, take the Florida, Florida Islands, and I am very tempted to uh, issue orders to the troops on Milne Bay that they have to hold until the last man. So what we're going to do is we are going to compress time, and I will bring everyone in when something exciting happens. All right, everyone. Flounder has made contact with the um, task force. So what we're going to do is we're going to... Well, I was going to spin around, but we might, we might not. We might just come, come this way. Let's uh, break. Uh, come this way, so that way um, we can get into firing position. Um, we've already targeted a number one, which is this one here, which is not who we wanted to target. We want to target this one. Yep. So we've targeted a number one. No dud torpedoes, please. That is all I ask. So we're going to move Flounder into position, and then um, we will... Um, we don't want to fire it well. No, we want... Yeah, that's what we want. All right. Uh, that's the guns. We don't want to fire the guns at well. All right. Uh, let's bring you guys back in when we are at firing a position. Okay, we are in a good position here. Um, we are going to give the order to loss. All right, there we go. Fire. We're firing all of our fish. We're just dumping them all in. And probably far too many. And what we'll do is we're going to order Flounder to dive, and we're going to get out of here. Dive, Flounder, dive, dive, dive. Because those guys are going to... All right, go, dive. It's got one I want to... Nice crash dive. Well, not a crash dive, but you guys understand. We want to dive, turn around, and slink away as our torpedoes engage the target. Our torpedoes are coming in, as you can see. We are going to... Get a really good strike on this uh, on this heavy cruiser. Let's have a let's have a look. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, and one has uh, gone wide. But that is fine. Four strikes. Absolutely fantastic. Take that to the damage she already had from those B17s. Uh, those screws are silent. That torpedo is going into the distance. Um, I'm a little worried about these. Um, this destroyer here. He's sort of um, getting to be what's <laughs> what's up. So is she going to sink? That's the question. Yes, <laughs> she is down. All right, there goes all of those heavy cruisers in this task force. I'm really hoping I can intercept this task force with task force two. That way we can absolutely persecute um, all these cargo ships need to go to the bottom. They are absolutely begging for it. So fire's now on the deck. Um, hopefully the crew are able to man the lifeboats. Um, that would be the ideal situation. Yeah, you know, we don't want to... You know, we're here to sink, sink material. So that's what we're here to do. 
So, alright. And let's um, enter, let's exit the battle and see how much we got. Alright, so we sunk a Miyoko um, for 13,000 tons, which earned us three command points. Excellent. So, Wildcats are in position. Uh, we don't really want Wildcats. I need some Avengers, but we haven't cycled the day yet, so it looks like that is not going to happen. Although... No, they're not going to reach either. So, what we've got, we've got Task Force Destroyer there, 4.30, and we can slip into Guadalcanal with our... Um, we might start moving now, actually. It's going to take you guys seven hours to get there, so you might as well just start moving now. Move you guys there. Excellent. So they'll start moving into Guadalcanal, which is what we want. Our walrus here from Task Force 2 is just doing a little bit of scouting. Um, what we could do is I want to put Herring. Herring's only got 10 torpedoes left. It's not much. You can go to a lap. It's a very terrible lap, but um, just go, just go get that done. All right, let's uh, compress time and um, see what happens in the future, shall we? Okay, so we have just unloaded more troops and supplies at Guadalcanal. Um, we now have 7,400 boots on the ground, and the order has been given to evacuate as many men from Milne Bay as possible. We will head back there as soon as possible, but um, for now, situation is untenable. So they have managed to slip through in the darkness. We're going to round Guadalcanal with these transports and head to Milne Bay. I've still got Task Force 2 in the area. They are going to try and hunt down that Japanese um, Task Force, but I, honestly, I don't see it happening. As soon as daylight hits, we're going to um, launch some aircraft from Port Moresby and have a hunt around. Uh, I will bring you guys back in when something eventuates. All right, we've just had cargo 2 intercepted off Guadalcanal. It is night time, so I don't know what it is. So what we're going to do is we are going to issue the retreat order and leave before we find out it is a whole heap of warships because that would not be good. Um, I have a feeling they've maybe pushed our task force out. So we're going to bring the sub back. Yeah, and what I might do as well is... Um, you've got, only got 10 torpedoes as well. You might come back as well. So I want you to come back the long way, please. You can come back that way. All right, excellent. All right, air operations are now available. Let's absolutely pepper this field with, with, um, with aircraft, shall we? annoying what happened there all right nashville your turn of course we'll do port moresby we want some wildcats please and you guys can come out here what we'll do is we'll get some b-17s on station just in case um no, 722, I think 748 is probably the, the best course. It's just like that. All right, that's um, as good as we can do for aircraft at the moment. There's an encounter with Cargo 2. Let's have a, let's have a look. Who's harassing these poor souls? Let's see if we can retreat. We can. Not interested in that one at all, um, to be honest. Task Force 1 is coming, coming in. So steaming into position. Um, New Hebrides still don't have any troops. All right, need this, uh, this week to end and end quickly. All right, Port Moresby is ready to... Launch aircraft once again. Or want some more Wildcats. Launch up there. Uh, destroy Task Force coming in. 
We could probably uh, evacuate troops on these guys. I think we will. We'll come down. Right, Nashville, give me another uh, aircraft, please. Up there. Australia, I want a walrus. I want him out there. All right, that is the end of the state of play. We've essentially peppered the area with aircraft trying to find this this convoy and um for the life of me i think it slipped us so once something exciting happens um you guys will be the first to know all right we've had a little bit of development here we have spotted nine ships uh, maybe two battleships and four light cruisers i definitely hope not so in response what we've done is we have Scrambled Avengers from Cooktown and Avengers from Port Moresby to intercept. Our B-17s, unfortunately, are bingo fuel and are heading back for refueling. Um, task Force 2 is still on approach. Um, depending on what this task force is, it might pay to divert them. Um, could also bring Flounder in, but probably not. All right, Task Force 1... So we're 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 um continuing with Operation Get the Hell Off Milne Bay, um, while still securing Guadalcanal. That's the plans at the moment. Still got no troops at New Hebrides. We have to wait to the uh the probably the twenty one day mark, I believe. Um, all right, so uh, let's fast forward time. See what these nine ships want. Um, if they want torpedoes. You know, we we will oblige with torpedoes. Okay, our Avengers have spotted the coal, and it is two battleships. Bloody hell. All right, that's fine. What we're going to do is, you guys, uh, I want you to form up. I'm going to navigate this way for a second while speeding to the deck. All right, we're going to go after the lead battleship. Um, that's the target. And we're gonna we're gonna go for a torpedo run. <laughs> I'm not diverting the uh, Australian ta the Australia Task Force to tackle this. We are going to persecute this with aircraft as the best we can. Is this an invasion fleet for Port Moresby? It might be, you know. Um, and for the life of me, I really hope it, it's not. But um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna. Have these guys scoot down as low as they can, 60 feet. Um, and they're going to attack. One. All right, nope. Yep, attacking number two. So attack order has been issued. They are now breaking. And off they go. Two very, very brave Avenger pilots right here. But you know what? No guts and no glory. That's what they say. Um, we will see what we can see from the Japanese point of view, as always. That is an insane battleship. Look at it. That is huge. Uh, I think it's a Congo by the looks of it. Um, why don't we get our recognition manual up? We need... Uh, um, Put away nation, not aircraft, ships, and we want battleships. No, it's not a Congo. It is, is it that one? Yes, no. There we are, it is an uh, I cannot pronounce these ones, but this is the one it is. I'm going to go with an, an, an ESA class battleship, and I can probably guarantee you that that is completely wrong, and I've unfortunately butchered it. Right, where are our Avengers? They are coming in. And there's two in the class, and this is number one, and that is number two. So these are the... Listen to those guns. All right, so they've obviously seen our poor, poor Avengers, and the sky is being littered with shrapnel now i hope these um these guys can get their shell uh, torpedoes off 
A nice, nice strike to light up one of these magazines would be fantastic. All right, so secondary anti-aircraft fire is starting. Oh, come on, guys. They're starting to make maneuvers. All right, one smoking. We have lost one, and we have dropped. Right, let's have a quick look. So we've got one torpedo in the water. Don't you be a dud. Don't you be a dud. It's going to be a hit. Just. <laughs> Come on, don't be a dud. <sighs> well, it was a dud. All right, we're going to get out of there. Uh, well, we know where they are. They are here. Sorry, where were they? Yeah, they're just about here where our, where our other Avengers were coming. I got no Wildcats left. All right, Task Force Two. What can we? Uh, what can we launch? Anything? All right, we need to know what's going on in the area, please. All right, we're going to skip skip time slightly and uh, and see what there is to see on the other side. All right, our Avengers from Cooktown are ready to go. They have caught up with the Japanese convoy. And what we are going to do is we're going to do this. We're going to go, you guys. We need to come this way and uh, form up. Form up two, and I want you guys to go this way. We are going to get into a better range, um, and then we're going to take out the secondary target. The same target as last time, which will be this one. Yeah, he's the same target as last time. That's our plan. We're going to move the Avengers into um, into a firing position that is better than the one that they came into. And then hopefully um, we can get a sinking of a battleship. That would be absolutely fantastic. What we're going to do is we are going to put all eight torpedoes into her. That's yeah, that's the that's the plan. And I will bring you guys back when we are in firing position. All right, targets have been given to our aircraft. What we are going to do is we are now going to give them the attack order. They're all breaking and attacking. This is what we this is what we want to see. They are going to absolutely persecute that battleship. Um, it is going to eat all eight torpedoes, and fingers crossed they all hit home. We've spun the squadrons around, so that way they can hit at a better angle than what they were coming in at so that's the plan um once we have fish in the water i will um no I'll let you guys know actually well i want to just ride it on in with these avengers that sounds like a plan yeah, as you can see our torpedo bays are open brave brave pilots the uh, japanese will be opening up very, very shortly with uh, with flak, you'd imagine. Um, they wouldn't let this many planes slip in without giving them a hello. I know I wouldn't, that's for sure. There we go, yeah, the guns have been opened. All right, what are we gonna lose? All right, oh. so we're gonna flight in the lead, flight in the rear. Flight is slightly correcting. And we have got torpedoes away yet. Torpedoes are away. All fish are in the water, and it looks like we're gonna get a few hits. Dud. Miss. Oh, we got one hit. That is miserable. Where's the, uh... Well, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, he's gonna just evade them, I reckon. 
<laughs> oh no. Yes, yes, two hits. Two hits on the on the uh, one I was not. What happened? Did they all drop? All right, a lot of them were shot down, so that's fair. Did you drop? Let's have a look. Did you? Uh, yes, you did. And that's fair. All right, we have a fire on board, and that is um, that's actually quite significant. So, fingers crossed, something comes out of that. Two torpedoes struck home on her. Is that fire spreading? It looks like it might be. Screws are still spinning quite significantly. Um, what about our second battleship? She's fine. I think she only got one hit from memory. Um, she's coming up for you. So, coming up alongside each other. We will give her some time and see if she can succumb to her wounds. All right, so the Japanese repair crews did manage to get the fires out and uh, contain any damage and flooding that happened. So battle crew, uh, battle cruiser, battleship number one has moderate damage and moderate flooding, while number two has minor damage and minor flooding. Eight aircraft uh, sent up, we lost three. So that is the state of play at the moment. Um, Port Moresby can launch Wildcats, which we're going to do it. It's uh, This is going to get uh, real nasty really quickly. Um, B-17s are heading back. It is still, still early. Um, so we will see what we can see. Uh, Milne Bay, yeah, we're going to... Task Force One's itching for a fight. Well, I'm itching for a fight with Task Force One. Um, but so far, all the action's um, down here where I didn't expect it to be. Um, I thought we were wrapping up Milne Bay. We'd get Guadalcanal. We'd take the Florida Islands, wrap it all in a neat bow and be done. But no, it is it is um, that is not happening at all. Um, all right, let's forward time and see what we can see. All right, our Wildcats have caught up with the uh, the Japanese fleet. Um, well, fleet, um, I suppose you caught a fleet. And I feel like they're going to be completely no good against um, those battleships. So what we're going to do is we are going to get them to strafe a few destroyers. That's, that's what's going to happen. Um, I mean, I, I don't mind the idea. I'm not sold to it, but um, let's... Go down. I do want you guys to target this one, please. And attack. And our other wildcats. You guys can scoot down to the deck as well. Um, lower. I want you to target a number 10 as well. And you can attack as well. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to... Basically, run the gauntlet without. He's still. Got a, he's got a list. Or is that just the fact that it's turning? It's very hard to tell. I can't wait for our aircraft to come in and. Yeah, it's our first strafing run on a poor, poor Japanese destroyer. Here they come. Well, what are they doing? Really, really didn't do much. 
So we are going to retreat as soon as we can. And um, what I'll do, guys, is I will bring you back when there is some more action. And I'm assuming it will be with this fleet once more and their and they're two battleships. Because they are big and scary. All right, Port Moresby has just been bombarded. Uh, that was obviously the aim of the game here, and that uh, that fleet is actually um, retreating. So they had no aircraft. I'm sorry, no, no aircraft, no troops, which is interesting. But but our B-17s would like to say hello. All right, that's that's what's happening. Um, can't launch for 13 hours. Oh, we just snuck in. Just. Um, can we? Yes, we can. I need Kingfishers and everyone to keep tabs on them for the B-17s. All right, so we're still coming in to evacuate troops. And uh, that will be the only evacuation run. Well, no, no, we can't go twos coming down. So that will be the only evacuation run we'll be doing. And then it is... Yeah, we are. Um, we're gonna have to regroup and take Milne Bay back again. All right. We have B-17s are uh, on station to a degree. We're gonna try and finesse them a little further. All right, there we go. Let's get it done, shall we? All right, there is the Japanese convoy. So what we're probably going to do. We're going to attack the same target in two groups. Well, you guys just to navigate this way, please. Um, and you guys can do the same. Now you're at 32. We'll increase to 36 with you guys. Now you've done that swing. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to come here, target um, number two, and attack. Squadron can target number two, and they can attack as well. So I sort of spaced them out a little bit. Um, one's up high, one's up low. So fingers crossed we can get some decent hits on these. <laughs> these battleships um lord knows we need to sink them and that is that is what we need to do so quite a good aircraft the b17 um it was a, a very very good platform for the um the u.s army at the time or well, was the u.s air force u.s army air force that's that's what they were um, you don't really hear much about them in the uh, in the Pacific campaign. Um, they mostly featured in uh, um, in Europe. That's that's worrying. If there was collision damage, I'd be worried there. Because oh yeah, they're um, yeah. If there was <laughs> and they'd both be stuffed. <laughs> All right, um, we are heading on target. He knows what's up because he is starting evasive maneuvers. We're going to watch it, as always, from the enemy point of view and see what hits we can get. Is this the one we actually wanted to target or was it this one? Uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter now. We can't can't change our minds midway through the bomb run. That's um, That's no good for anybody. I mean, they've seen us coming, and they've changed directions that they were sailing in. All right, there, uh, there you go, the, um... I think we just released the bombs. Bombs are away. Incoming now, hopefully. Let's have a look. Fantastic hit, that one. Oh. Those were some sensational bomb hits. Good job, boys. Good job. Now oh, we just lost a B-17. Bugger. 
absolutely fantastic. Um, he's not going to sink, but um, hopefully that is enough. One, two, three, four, and a dud bomb. Well, hopefully those dud bombs do some damage. Oh, there goes another B-17. We lost two aircraft. Damn it. Because um, I know the Germans used to um, use concrete bombs against deck against ships so basically the concrete bombs would punch through the hull that was the um the uh the aim of the game with them was to punch basically punch through the hull and um sink the ship so we're going to leave the engagement um he's she's doing fine um, for now so we will retreat and leave and we will bring you back in when something exciting happens all right, so our air operation in the, I suppose it'd be the Coral Sea, um, has failed to locate that Japanese task force anymore. Um, it is now a night time. Um, so on Milne Bay, our destroyers have slipped in. We've managed to evacuate 750 men off the island. Um, task Force 2 is coming in now. Um, they'll be in there momentarily, and then they are going to evacuate men as well. Sub 2 has an encounter. Oh, well, hello! Let's begin that one, shall we? That's a lucky, lucky find. <laughs> All right, Flounder, what can you see, buddy? Not much. Um, whoa, where are they? I even, I can't see them. Are they going to run into us? I think they are. Let's, um, can we go for us, please? What I want is I want you to go... Let's go depth. And bring up the scope, please. There they are, there they are, there they are. What are they? Looks like they're just destroyers. That's fine, we're gonna we're, we're gonna shoot them all the same. So let's have a quick gander at what we've got. Yep, destroyer, destroyer. Just destroyers. I'm guessing they're um ferrying ferrying troops. All right, Flounder, um, we'll target the lead... No, we'll target the lead destroyer. Um, all stop, that's what I want. So, can we all stop, please? Yeah, just, just sit there. Now, we have had issues with our torpedoes in the past... Do we not have any torpedoes in the front? Yeah, we do. No. Tubes are ready, none of six. Can you not reload them, please? Or is that not happening? Or are we going to have to maneuver for a bow shot? I think we're going to have to maneuver for a bow shot. All right. Swing around, please. Yeah, we're not letting this go. Um, there's obviously torpedoes in the rear. Four tubes ready. Yeah, there's, there's no torpedoes in the front of the boat. Why they haven't moved torpedoes to the front of the boat while they've just been sailing around the sea, I will never know. But um, I, want a, I want a torpedo or destroyer. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do it. So we are going to get into torpedo range and I will bring you guys back in when we successfully do that. All right, we are in a fairly terrible position, but um, we're going to give it a crack anyway. Um, bringing our rear tubes around, what we're going to do is we're going to fire... Well, we're going to fire all, all of them. Um, we're going to give it a one degree spread and fire. Yeah, 
I have no confidence in this. So what we're going to do is we are going to dive. Now we're just going to navigate away. Just sail away. Bring that scope down, please. Thank you very much. Um, and then um, I will bring you guys back in. Possibly if we ever hit something. Um, so where are our, where's our convoy? There it is. All right, our torpedoes are coming in. You can see them just there. And it doesn't look like the uh, Japanese convoy is any wiser to what is happening, um, which is which is good. <laughs> so hopefully we can uh, we can get a strike and then um, get out of here. But they look like they are coming in at an absolutely terrible, terrible angle. Um, no, that might be okay. Let's 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 keep keep it going for a minute. Ooh, it might happen. They still haven't seen anything. So we missed the run on for number two. Um, they could possibly hit one still. Not overly confident it's going to happen, though. That spread it should have been an arrow of spread. Two degrees was obviously too much. Yeah, this is, this is going to miss. This is going to be a miss, boys and girls. We might might snag one hit, maybe. And I bet it's a bloody dud. <laughs> They've all missed. Damn it. All right, time to get out of there. All right, we will um, leave combat and I will see you guys on the other side. All right, so I do want to know where that convoy was going. So what we're going to do is Task Force 2, manage cargo. What can you guys do? Troops? No, are you even in position yet? Um, no, not quite. So let's... There we go. That's better. All right. Now you can manage some cargo. Um, no. All right, 250 there, 250 there, and 400 supply. And that is that is it. That is all we're getting. Do we go up to intercept, or do we just head straight back for Renault? I think we head straight back. All right, it's take us 26 hours to, to sail back. Um, those 112 men that are left have they're American heroes that is what they are we uh, will not forget their sacrifice they've allowed those that were able to get off off um, are we going to have enough time to get the supply off 25 hours no no we're not so we're going to turn our cargo transports around because there is honestly not enough time, unfortunately. I really want to merge all my cargo transports together, um, especially these ones. So we are going to do that. Um, merge groups. This one. All right. So one, two, three, merge groups. There we are. We will rename you. I don't know what you were. Cargo two, maybe? Yeah. Cargo two, because cargo three. Oh no, now we've got two cargo twos. That can't be right. All right. Cargo one. Done. Yep. So there we managed to merge our groups. We've evacuated Milne Bay. We're evacuating to Renell Island. And honestly, that is where we're going to leave it, everyone. So thank you, everyone, for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you've got to this stage, subscribe to the channel, and I will see everyone on the next one. Bye for now.